I'm Isabel from the upcoming Lovely to speak to you both about your amazing film, Holy Spider. So can you tell us how you got involved in the project and the story kind of behind telling it, why you wanted to bring it to screen? It started 20 years ago. Ali Ali was really fascinated by this real life serial killer in Iran. And finally, after 15 years of thinking about it and having done Border, a great film, he got the opportunity to do this this important and ta very timely film now. And so, yeah, I mean, the, the film became a, a major European co-production with Denmark, Germany, France and Sweden. We pulled a lot of European money together to make a, a film in Iran, which wasn't easy. Shot in Jordan. Yeah, we're really excited to be here tonight. I mean, obviously, there's a political elements to it. It's a little bit controversial and it's got some, some amazing themes that, that resonate across the world, just not in Iran. So how did you translate that onto screen? How did you kind of come across the barriers that you came across? Well, you know, was there quite a lot of those to get through. Well, in a way, it's it's that the topics are very uh, Iranian, but they're also very universal. I think I think there's a lot of things. There's a big movement in the last 10, 15 years about you know women rights and also about getting these things enlightened. And but now, of course, what was happening tragically in Iran, it just gives it another political dimension, another perspective to it. And it's it's a bit like it seems like nearly every country has its own prostitute killer. There was a famous one here too many years ago. In a way, it's it's not only an, an Iranian theme, but of course the current events have made this film so shockingly uh, yeah, current. And how did you sort of go about the casting process? Because I know she was kind of the casting director to start with, so was she always kind of an immediate choice for you? And how did you bring people into the team to film this? Yes, she was actually the first person that we hired on the film like five years ago to, to help us cast the film. And it was a huge challenge because we knew it was difficult to get uh, actors living in Iran because of security reasons, concerns. So she did a tremendous job finding people in England, in France, in Germany, Denmark, Norway, everywhere. It was uh, a huge endeavor. Ali was very adamant about having his two lead roles from Iran because of the body language, because of the dialect. And uh, we had cast a young Iranian actress to be in the film and we had talked to her for over a year. And literally a couple of days before we actually shot the film, she realized that she doesn't have it in her to do it. And uh, it was, I mean, the lead actress was an essential element of the film. And we were very lucky to, to have Zah to jump in this is really the very, very short version of it, uh, but there were a couple of sleepless nights involved. But I mean, she came in and she conquered, and then she won the best actress in Cannes. It's like a, it's like a fairy tale. No, very demanding role, but she's amazing in it. And also, how does it feel for you guys to be here tonight at the British Film Festival? introducing this to a wider audience? I mean, uh, we've lived in the film for so long time and each time we show it to a big audience in a cinema, it's just a great experience. You, you kind of feel how the film resonates in big audiences. It's, it's, it's amazing. Also being here in London, it's fantastic. It's, it's very rewarding. And I mean, we just also got chosen as the Danish Oscar candidate. It feels like the most, the most fun way to campaign, basically. And finally, what do you hope viewers will take away from this film from watching it? Well, it's a glimpse into a country that's uh, very closed down, a country that tries to manage its image uh, outside of uh, Iran very carefully. And this kind of opens up understanding of, you know, the bigger Iranian problems that are in Iran. I think in that way, it's uh, one of the things we want people to get away with. Yeah. You put that in beautiful yeah. words. I cannot top that. <laughs> Thank you very much for speaking to us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.